G'day, time for a review. In this video, we're gonna be doing a review on the Benjamin Airbow. Now I'm gonna show you why I think this is the ultimate in stealth hunting equipment. All right guys, so this is the first time shooting this one. It's brand new. Uh, just picked it up thanks to the guys at Hall's Firearms in Townsville um, If you want one you can get one through those guys give them a call. I'll put the phone number up on the screen Okay, so you get a couple of options when you buy one of these bad boys You can get a hand pump with it to pump up the Cylinder now this has to go to 3000 psi. I don't know if that's gonna focus or not but if you pump it up by hand, you will be there for a long time. It's like over an hour, I'm pretty sure, to pump it up. And then you get eight shots around about, and you gotta do it again. So the other option, which is the one I went for, is to get yourself a scuba tank. Cause that just takes all the hard work out of it. So this is the, um, the port where you plug in the filler upper doobie into there and fill up your cylinder with compressed air. So let's do that. We'll fill it up and get ready to sight it in. All you do is fill it up, watch your gauge. Once it gets to three, shut it off. All right guys, so these are the arrows. Normal length, full size arrows. The only difference is the end of this is hollow. Now that is because on the air bar itself, that tube or cylinder is where the air comes out. And these things literally Just slide in like that, you'll feel it grab, that's it, it's done. You leave the coloured bit facing up. But, okay, so your arrow's in, these are just your field tips for sorting it in. You can screw any broadhead on there, so these are 100 grain, so I've got 100 grain uh, broadheads, I'll show you them later, but anyway, and now we're loaded, this is how easy it is to cock. Done. Now it's hot, ready to fire. If you can see downrange there, that black um, fertilizer bag, that's just full of old cling wrap, you know, pallet wrap type stuff. So we'll send one downrange and, and see if we gotta make some adjustments. That was pretty damn close for, we haven't sighted this in. I just literally bolted the scope on, loctite it everything, let it set overnight, and here we go. So I've got a little bit of adjustment to do, but not a lot, that's pretty good. All right, so there you go. That was the first shot. Now you can see how powerful these things are, guys. That just went all the way through that. All right, let's dig it out, make some adjustments, and get this thing zeroed in. That's how far away we are. I do have a range finder, so I'll let you know how far away the car is. I don't even know where that went. Straight through. Go! So there you go guys, Benjamin Airbow, get you some of this. This is very cool, very quiet, 
very powerful 450 feet per second that's crazy so you can see it shoots straight through that bag stuff with like cling wrap type stuff imagine what it's going to do to flesh it's out of control we'll go back to the um car and i'll show you the broadheads i bought for this thing so these are nasty man i'm so impressed with this thing it is out of control i can't wait to go and take it in the field and go get some piggies it's a really windy day today too i don't know if you can tell that on the camera or hopefully there's not a lot of wind noise but it's really windy and these things are just staying on point so when you go on that fast and take a fair bit of wind to you know set you off all right so these are the broadheads that i'm using guys these are made by grim reaper they're half fixed blade and half mechanical so that's what they look like but so check this out How deadly is that? Now the cool thing about these is when they hit, these blades pop out. So you can imagine the damage that that's going to cause when it hits. Very, very nasty. but. As a size comparison, there's my hand and this broadheads. I'm pretty excited to use these guys and then they just fold back up. So serrated on both sides, you can pull him out. Oh yeah. So this thing flying at you at 450 feet per second, it's gonna um, stop you from running away pretty quick, I think. Okay, so there you go. There's my little review and um, show off video for the benjamin airbow hope you've enjoyed it if you did can i get a like out of you um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already make sure you headbutt that subscribe button and we'll see you in the bush when we get to go and test this bad boy out all right guys i'll catch you later eh? see ya